in control of your life? You might think so. The majority of people live an average life and lifestyle. Right now, your life prospects might be graduate from school, get a stable income, and settle down, like most normal people would. But most average people are sad in the end of their lives. Why is that? I believe that 0.01% of people are happy because they have found enlightenment. Um, they have made peace with the worst part of themselves. Now this sounds ridiculous, right? Well, I have a theory. They're called fatal flaws. Um, it's something that originated in Greek mythology. Uh, it's the part of you that pulls you down, your worst weakness. Even the great Greek gods had them. My fatal flaw is the fear of making a mistake and the feelings of rejection and dejection when those mistakes eventually come. Um, so let's talk about that. At the start of this TED Ed Club, um, me and my peers were supposed to brainstorm some ideas for our talks. So uh, when I presented my first idea to my teacher at the time, I got rejected. Now that shouldn't come as a surprise to me or to anyone else. It was my first idea, but I was sad. So sad, so very sad. So very, very, very sad that I cried. I'm not joking, I cried. Um, my fatal flaw got so bad to the point where I got sad when other people felt bad about making a mistake. It was, it was then when I figured out that my fatal flaw leads to sadness, which leads to moodiness, which leads to mood disorders like depression, stress, anxiety, and other disorders along those lines. Right. It all makes sense now. But I don't feel any better. Maybe a bit worse. What's interesting about your fatal flaw is that it can be anything. Some, of course, are more common than others, but they're all possible for you to have. Well, I've talked about fatal flaws as a kind of virus, a parasite that infects and feeds upon our lives. But that isn't wholly true, because it's a part of us. We can't get rid of it. So we must learn to live with it. The first step to um, learning how to live with your fatal flaw is to identify it. A very crucial step, obviously. So you must learn to treat your trait like a person. A person with one faulty trait. It's like removing part of yourself and molding it into another person. Analyze it from an outsider's point of view because you're normally nicer to other people compared to yourself. Am I correct? You're less likely to judge other people off your own prejudices and judge them more logically. Just to be polite. Learn about your fatal flaw to learn about yourself. Another thing you need to learn is what triggers your fatal flaw. Be it uncertainty, hunger, fear, any other emotion across the nine yards, the nine seas, the nine continents, I mean the seven continents. Yeah, that's the number. Um, um, be prepared for it. Tell yourself that you will be sad. You will be regretful about something. You'll be uncertain about yourself. And don't run away from these situations. You, you need to make it happen more often to build a tolerance for it. Some of you might have heard about the 100 Days of Regret Challenge. To put simply, it's a challenge where for each day, for 100 days, you ask someone to do something absurd. And most of the time, they'll say no. I believe this 
is a viable method for learning how to tolerate living with your fatal flaw. Not exactly the 100 days of regret challenge, but other things. Like if you're me, you could um, try to make more mistakes. Now, this is a hard line to balance because you can't just um, stop being a productive member of society, stop going to work, like, or stop doing work or not going to school or any of those. You still need to take care of yourself. Those aren't viable mistakes to do. That's a fine line to balance on. Uh, and these changes don't have to be extravagant at first. You can start small. Don't ever expect a change so quickly. As I said, don't think of your fatal flaw as a curse. Think of it as a quirk. It just so happens that most people have to tone down their quirk, at least a little bit. Now, this journey to live with your fatal flaw is perilous, filled with obstacles that you might not know how to get around. But I believe that if you persist along this journey, you will come out as a better person. I hope. I myself have given up certain in, on certain parts of this journey. I'm currently still on this journey, but let's hope we pull through. This was an introduction to fatal flaws and how they work. Of course, different people have different quirks and unique traits across the board. Different solutions work for everyone. I don't want to generalize. I don't want you to think I'm a kid who's telling you how to live your life. Don't think of this as a guide to how to solve every single one of your problems. Think of it as a suggestion. Thank you for watching and good luck to you all.